Hello, welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to look at gram formula mass which can also be called molar mass because the gram formula mass does equal or is the same as the molar mass of the element or molecule. So let's talk about this thing we call gram formula mass which is the mass of the molecule and if we have CO2, carbon dioxide, we have a gram formula mass of 44. But where does this 44 come from? And when we look at water H2O, where does this 18.02 come from for the gram formula mass? And when we talk about gram formula mass, we're talking about the mass of units based on the atomic mass units from the periodic table. So let's take a look at how we get that value for carbon dioxide CO2. And for this case, we're dealing with carbon having one atom. And from the periodic table, we have a mass of 12.01. And we multiply that together. 1 times 12.01 gives us 12.01, of course. Oxygen, we have two atoms of oxygen. And the mass from the periodic table is 15.99. It's actually 0 0.999999. And when we do that, we end up with... 2 times 15.99, we end up with 31.99. We then add those two values and we get a gram formula mass of 44.00 gram formula mass, or 44.00 grams per mole. Because for one mole, we get the gram formula mass, and that is the molar mass. So where did we get this 18.0 for oxygen? and water. We get hydrogen having two atoms at 1.01 .01, giving us a value of 2.02. .02. Oxygen has one atom at 15.99 so we add those together and we get a value of 18.01 .01 gram formula mass, 18.01 .01 grams per mole for the molar mass. Let's look at some more examples. Here we have a covalent molecule or molecular molecule, N2O5 dinitrogen pentoxide. So we have two nitrogens. The mass from the periodic table, or AMU, is 14.01, giving us a value of 28.02. We then look at the oxygen, which has a subscript of 5, telling us we have 5 atoms. 5 times 15.99 is a value of 79.95 and when we add those two values together we get 107.97 for the gram formula mass or 107.97 grams per mole for the molar mass. One more example, let's look at a polyatomic of hydroxide attached to an aluminum metal giving us an ALOH3 molecule and we are reminded that for this case we are going to distribute the subscript outside the parentheses to both of the elements inside the parentheses meaning we have three oxygens and three hydrogens so we start with the aluminum we have one atom at 26.98 we have three oxygens, as I said before, we are going to distribute that three outside the parentheses, giving us three oxygen at 15.99 from the periodic table, gives us 47.97, and we're going to go to hydrogen, and the AMU is 1.01, .01. and because of that distribution of the three to both the oxygen and the hydrogen, we have three hydrogens, giving us a mass of 3.03 .03 for hydrogen and our gram formula mass adds up to 77.98 GFMs or gram formula masses and this gives us a molar mass of 77.98 grams per mole. Remembering that the gram formula mass, the mass of the formula, is the same as the molar mass, the grams per mole of these substances. So there is a worksheet for you to continue practicing gram formula mass um, that is attached to your SOFIA assignment. So go ahead and download that and do some of the practice problems to make sure you are up to date 
on calculating gram formula mass and keep working on your chemistry.